Ah, it's six stab. What's the aggressive expansion look like? It's just England, Portugal, Castile, and Galicia. Oh, but it's a lot. Oh, it's also a lot of war exhaustion. You guys asked for it. The Double Emperor Challenge. That is becoming the Emperor of the Chinese Empire and the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire at the same time. My name is Quagersaw. Welcome to Europa Universalis 4. This was the most requested idea back when I did the Personal Union Only and No Offensive Wars Challenge videos. So I decided to take it on. To add to the difficulty, I took the suggestion of Icepire, a buddy of mine who has an awesome channel. Check it out. His idea was to take an Irish miner and to become an emperor of China. So that's what we're going to do. Namely, we're going to be awfully, so that I can get the Spanish fly achievement for getting a union over an Iberian nation as awfully, along with the luck of the Irish achievement, which requires us to take the entirety of the British Isles as an Irish nation. At that point, we're going to go out to China. We're going to conquer enough land to flip to an Eastern religion. We're going to take the Mandate of Heaven from Ming and become the Emperor of China. Then we're going to return to Europe and to Christianity. And by vote or by force, I will become the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire while maintaining the Empire of China. That is our goal. If all goes well, this is supposed to be the first of three videos. If you guys want to see that second and third video, please help me push the algorithm and get this video out to more people. Like the video and comment down below. To incentivize you and as a way of trying to give back to you guys because you've grown my channel from almost 2,000 subs to nearly 7,000 subs in just like two months, I want to give back with a DLC giveaway. So check down in the description for details on that. So as you've seen in the background, Ireland consolidation is not super difficult. All you have to do is kill everybody. <laughs> Vassalization is super useful. Getting claims quickly because they've already made claims on their neighbors can be quite useful. As long as you can have the English distracted for long enough, you should be able to consolidate. My suggestion is to make sure that Ulster is one of the earlier guys that you go after because Scotland sometimes will conquer Ulster which will then make it difficult for you because you kind of need to be allied with him early on to counter the English. Now I was lucky enough that both France and Burgundy had gotten into wars with England right around the time that I finished the consolidation which was about 1464. It would have been a little quicker but I allied up Ormond and uh, had to break with him five years later, eat him, after I'd eaten everybody else besides Pale. So we went in on the English with me and the Scottish while the French were still fighting him and the Burgundians had gotten defeated by him. So he was tired. He still wrecked us for a while. Scotland eventually left the war, annulled treaties with me, and gave up three provinces. But this gave me enough time to take London and the Ford in Wales. Let's pick back up at that point. All right, so he's concentrating on us now. The French, I don't think they're going to come across the strait, so I need to get out of this war before I take another loss. Ugh. Do I have enough for war reps? Holy crap. A lot of Diplo. Beyond the Pale. We're probably going to lose the ability to rival him there. Yep, that's fine though. We can go in and vassalize him. Provence rivaled me. Okay, I can do that. Uh, is he still allied to France? France really likes us. But I'll hold off. The other issue we're going to have is I need to invest in building a transport navy. Because I literally don't have one. But if I can get to war with Brittany on his own, I don't care. I can build one. Okay, let's build a navy. Probably going to have to take a loan to build a navy. All right. Brittany. Vassalization. All your money. Go. Just for a few days, we'll turn all this on. 
Hey, look at there. We're making money even with the maintenance up and the fort on. That's pretty good. Nice. Now we can embrace this. We can take this and this. We can take that. We can take that. Getting our exploration started. 1476, about 30 years. On all of Ireland, Wales, Cornwall, and a little bit of Brittany. I'm allied to Burgundy and France. Luckily, I've not had any problems with each other. We try to get a union over Berg. We have plenty of space for people, so I might as well try. Unions are good, guys. They, they keep you from getting unions. Liege is attacking Berg, trying to stop it from getting a union. I can't let Liege kill Berg. Well, let's get access through our allies. The French have uh, claimed up Provence and isolated themselves from him. I can't take him on my own, probably. But we're going to try soon, I think. Okay, apparently. No, we won. I'll take a loan if I have to. I think we can win this war. But we have the war goal. Hopefully they don't join up and I can beat their armies one at a time. I'm keeping up on military tech. I'm falling behind on everything else. I don't care. Come on, take it. Oh my god. Hey. Nice. Now I wonder, we want to get the Spanish fly achievement. I wonder if we were to move him this way and, and then, then somehow force him to accept that culture. If he would count as Iberian, I don't think that's how it works. We'll, we'll cross that bridge later. Alright, we took Anjou. Let's give that to the Britons as well. You're sieging down Anjou now. I think we have the upper hand. Yeah, we won your capital. Now we really get to mess with you. I'm not allowed to take this. He's much too big to vassalize. I think this is about the best we're going to do. Pushing even further is going to just waste more manpower that we don't need to be wasting. It's our first windfall of cash, though. That's good. I could have taken war reps from him, but I think his money was more valuable. It'd be nice to have two unions. Instead of just one. God dang it. Right when I marry him. Alright, we'll just ally him. Be a little alliance we can get some favors with relatively quickly. We're probably going to have to switch off of Catholic. But it really depends on how strong the Reformation is. And it hasn't popped yet. There's still Hussite in Bohemia's capital. He hasn't done much. Alright, this is a bit of a risk. But I'm going to try to hope that Berg can take on Cleves. I think once we get to war, he might make a larger military again. Uh, we can bring Lundberg in to take on Cleves as well, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. The problem is going to be the Scottish and the fact that I only have four transports. And the likelihood that he's, we're not going to get access through the English. We will make Argyle the war goal. Alright, let's give this over to Berg. Like the Diplo cost. And these guys are completely protected because the straits are cut off. And now we have local numerical superiority. Frankfurt, Cologne, Scotland, Brabant, Holland, Aachen, England. Nobody really matters there. Have you finished coring? You have. Good. No. The, the value proposition here of getting four provinces for one, even one as good as Lothian. Not enough. It's not there. So we're going to take that. We're going to take his money. See how long it is until we annex Brittany. Six years. Oh no. Duh. Stupid France. Stupid France. Stupid France. Get to coring. Don't join this war. You guys run back to Ireland. Uh, you're not going to be able to. Go over here. I think we're about to get sieged down. Yeah, I don't know why France did this. I should have said no. He's going to take... He's going to give up uh, the Cornwall stuff. He might, he might make me give up Wales as well. 
What's the war goal here? Calais? Alright, well at least they hold it. We're working on Holland. He's so screwed. And I'm so screwed. I gotta try. Oh, they're pulling further in. That's actually really good. Nice. I turned it around for him. He was literally losing while I was fighting the Scottish. There, maybe that'll be enough to get the, the Danes one out. Yep, there he went. He wants some more. I have a feeling I've got some favors coming to me, so no. We still have ticking war score. I'm the Irish. Anytime I can kill Englishmen, things are going well. <laughs> They're not really going that well, but... Um, yeah, I stalled for the last 10 years because of the this French war, largely. Gaelden was a nice grab. There he went. We got Clay. We got 24 favors. Monfrot attacks Savoy. Talk about Uno reverse card. France declared war on Castile conquest. Call me in. Oh, so you call me? You don't call me in. It's the ones I want to be in. I think I got to turn Protestant, guys. I'm gonna piss off the Pope. I simply can't afford. To not do expel minorities. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna flip. Missionary strength. Thank you. Awfully hot islands. <laughs> no. I'm literally losing to my rebels. Feels bad. 167. Yeah, our loans are getting bigger. And seized. And seized. Like, I shouldn't just be able to seize these. Then you can even white piece out the war and you keep them. It's kind of broken. Alright, so everybody's out. This is not too bad. These guys will eventually become the unions that we take. Very nice. I actually have quite a bit of stuff over here now. Let's get back to exploring. Antonio's done. Awfully, awfully low down. <laughs> it's about time to start moving into the English Channel. Awfully lot of drugs. <laughs> oh, that one's... That one was a bad joke. But it's not like any of the others weren't bad jokes. We've integrated Gaeldom, and we can summon a new diet. Man, I'm having money problems. Might have to go down on... If I... I'll really... Really. Awfully Brazilian wax. If France goes on, takes the Netherlands and Portugal. And I will kill England. Let's just do Coventry. Start on London. I actually kind of need the money out of this war. Alright, can we take the English here? He outnumbers us a bit, but I don't think he has any generals. He's been sitting on this siege. And... Yeah, we were fine. Alright, let's get back over here. And... Keep trying to squish. The Netherlands want out. And all treaties with... Yes. I need money badly. Actually, not too bad. I think we can repay the loan and still have a little bit of money there. Nice. Looting has been good. Banda Orient. He's got a lot of crap, but... We'll, we'll mess with him later directly. Border gore like crazy. How much is... Chester? Oh, there's a 10. That's better. Won't make me itch. 100% peace deal. We're 123% overextended, but uh, I can handle that. 
We want to get this guy eight. Like, within another war, hopefully. We'll see. We have invaded England. I just gotta eat that and we'll have ruled Britannia. I do not believe I promised territory to France. Did not. We could take this. Portugal is going to attack Gal Galicia. Go away. Galicia, release. Place relative on throne. Nice. Nice. I can't break vassalage of him right yet, though. I want all of this to be Protestant. I'm going to try to force Protestant on the Empire. I will convert everything that's not whatever we're going to do over here, which is probably going to be some form of Buddhist or Confucian. I'm actually thinking I don't want any more development in Europe or really even in Africa, or North America, and South America. Not right now. I need development that is further out. So I might... Well, I'll probably kill England as soon as his truce is up. It's in five years. But besides that... Because I'm... The more dev I have back home, the harder it is to do what we need to do out here. I need you to find uncolonized stuff like this. So I just made Galicia an independent nation. The problem we have now is that Portugal has permanent claims. Leon has a claim, who's also independent. And uh, I don't think he's going to survive. I don't think I want to risk it. I want to get this achievement. Achievements are hard to come by. Which one are we going for? Spanish fly. And we can do it. Well, let's marry. 27th of November, claim the throne, claim it, 29th of December, break a truce, ah, it's six stab, yeah, yeah, what's the aggressive expansion look like, it's just England, Portugal, Castile, and Galicia, oh, but it's a lot, Oh, it's also a lot of war exhaustion. Our general died. Oh, no. Portugal attacked. Can I land in time? Please tell me I can land in time. No worries. He can't take the whole thing if I have one occupied. And if he somehow vassalized it, then I would just uh, fight Portugal. So I'm fine. He's going to take most of Galicia, but that's that's fine. Paid six stab to get a one province. Oh, this game. There he went. All right. Now I have a way to attack Portugal. Like I didn't already have that. Yay. We're only 30. We should be okay. Oh, there it is. Spanish fly. Starting as awfully. Secure a personal union over an Iberian nation. It only costs a six stab. Our truce with England. And let's go for Oxford. Alright, we'll leave him with two provinces, but I'm taking London. Cool. Ooh, I don't have any admin. Coalition's the same. It's not that big. The Rizar went down. Okay. Everybody's happy. Happy and healthy. Let's take out our rebels. Getting converted. It's almost done. France. He's super, super pissed. He's going up 20 per year. Did he join one of the sides? No. I'm joining the Protestant side. Wait. I can fight the Emperor? Okay. Route gunned. But he's going to break with Russia, which means it's a good time, although that will stay around. I'm just afraid France is going to join, and then we're going to break our alliance with him, so... Go! Holy crap. Oh, yeah, manpower would be good as well. Oh, good. He rivaled me. 
Oh, he he switched to wanting my province, my subject's provinces by 135. He wanted to break it. Damn. Well, at least we don't have to fight him. I'm gonna try to get people out. They can keep just fighting. I'm gonna concentrate on people. Holy war, cleansing of heresy. I kind of like the idea of the Ottomans losing a bunch. Oh, he almost had Veen. They're trying to take back a few things here. Maybe I should help. Wurgberg wants out. Oh, why? Just white peace out. I'm tired of... Why do I want to spend a bunch of Diplo? What do the numbers look like now? Yeah, we're getting them down. Next person, I think, should be Salzburg. Hello, good people. We sacked Veen. Very nice. Keep churning him. Make him feel bad. Make him feel bad about himself and his life. Let's see if I can get into a fight with him. There we go. Ming announces his arrival. Soon it will be France as well. All right. You ready to go? Negative two. Negative two. You know. Everybody's going to isolate me. I'll join up with the devil if I have to. There it is. The Peace of Westphalia. Sign a Treaty of Religious Peace. Religious Peace. Anyone can be the Emperor. Currently, Urbino. <laughs> Alright, now we got a Protestant Empire. Or at least the ability to get a Protestant Empire. Or if I decide I need to go back to Orthodox or something. When I come back to Europe, that will be possible as well. England, Portugal, Castile can suck it. Yay. Rule Britannia. Yay. We've taken over all the British Isles. There it is. Luck of the Irish. Owning half course on the British Isles as an Irish nation. I know we could have formed Ireland just after we got Spanish Fly, but I decided to see awfully take the entirety of the Isles. Now I'm going to form Ireland. I like to change traditions. I'd say they're better with the morale and the discipline. That helps. Let's take a look at ourselves versus Ming. Uh, Ming's down to 69,000 troops and 491 manpower. He has quite a bit more force limit than us, but I wonder if we attack Ming directly instead of people like Manchu. Oh, look at that glorious Ireland. All of the colonial nations will stay off in colors. But this one, we will call something interesting with Ireland. And then we're going to attack over here. Let me put a guy here so that they don't get attritioned. They're ready to come home and pick up another stack. I also have to keep in mind that I have to fight with one hand behind my back because I have so much stuff over here in the old world. And I'm low on manpower. But we're getting there. We're very close. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. How about checking out one of the other videos on the screen? Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps out the channel. Comment down below with other videos you'd like to see, or head on over to the Discord. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.